Is this video a little bit late? 100%. Do I have a good reason for that? Kind of. I got a helper today, too. Hi guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, hi, my name is Katie Wismer. I'm an author and an editor. I have seven books out currently. And today's video is a little bit different than my usual content. But I thought it might be interesting. I don't know. If you end up enjoying it, let me know down below in the comments. I thought we would do sort of a plan with me kind of video. I'm editing this video and just now realizing that I start the video by saying there's a reason why I didn't post this at the beginning of the month and then I literally never say why <laughs> basically we'll get into it the planning that we do is for my own books and my own projects and i knew i wasn't gonna have time to work on them at the beginning of the month i knew i was gonna be focusing on them later in the month so that's why it didn't feel important to do this at the beginning of the month I probably didn't care i go back and forth i used to be more of a planner now i feel like i am so much more focused on like being present and grounded and like in the present moment so too much planning for me actually i don't find helpful because i'm just like spending so much time thinking about things in the future. But then on the other hand, if I don't plan ahead, I don't really like the result of that either. So I'm trying to find a happy medium. With that said, I have like a couple of different methods of planning. So I have a printout calendar that I've already put together that'll show you, which is all like work stuff basically. And then I have a whiteboard calendar, which is what we're gonna put together, together, <laughs> um, which is more for like my creative stuff, like my writing, my own projects and that kind of thing. Yeah, if you're interested in how I kind of plan out my months and how all of that goes together, this is the video for you. This video is also being sponsored by Skillshare. If you somehow happen to be unfamiliar with Skillshare, they're an online learning community and they have tens of thousands of videos in pretty much any topic that you could possibly want to learn about. I've taken their writing classes, I've taken their marketing classes, I've taken graphic design classes from them, meditation classes from them. If you're looking for ways to be more productive, they have a lot of great classes on that, like one that I've been currently looking into, which is design your day, how to be more productive without burning out and as someone who was definitely burned out earlier this year this seems right up my alley it has lessons on managing your energy how to refuel how to design your day and this is just one of the many classes that they have on time management productivity that kind of stuff if you want to check them out i'll have them linked down below in the description the first 1000 people to use my link can get a one month free trial which gives you unlimited access to all of their different classes and without further ado, let's get into the rest of the video. Apologies in advance. I know I don't have the best like overhead shot here, but we're doing the best we can. This is just something I just like Google a printable month calendar every month to print out. I'll add any kind of like important work days to it. And then I also have this little key. I just take like a ruler and add a little line at the bottom of each week. So I can keep track of when I'm posting on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, when I work out patreon posts and when i send out a newsletter and it's just kind of color coded like that so then i just add the little color at the bottom when i post and i add an x through this little box in the corner when i work out pretty self-explanatory i'll put on the calendar when i have a coaching call when i potentially want to post a video but like this video i was originally planning to post on friday i ended up posting it on i think monday so it's not set in stone <laughs> when sponsored videos are due for me to submit when i'm going to post them posting another Patreon video on this day, hoping to wrap up a client by this day, start a new client, a date I need to send an invoice video, post my podcast, start a new client, all of that kind of thing. So basically this one is the no fun calendar, just put down important dates to remember when it comes to work stuff. And then the only other thing on paper that I have before we get into putting together the um, whiteboard together, I put just like a list of videos that I need to make in a month and I plan out what the content's gonna be, what day I need to film it, and then what day it's gonna be posted. So like this self-publishing 101 video over on Patreon this month was a book sales kind of report from March and April where we went over the book sales from my marketing experiment. And then I, I basically mapped these out for the videos that I have to make. So any sponsored videos or Patreon content and then videos that I make outside of these ones, um, I don't really plan ahead. So now let's get into it. Okay, we pulled out the big camera with the hopes that you'd have a better view. I already went through and added all of the numbers for May. Now we're going to get started. So before I start putting anything specific for the dates, I'm going to come down to the little notes section and write out some overall goals for the month to kind of give me some more direction. Now, like I said, this is really going to be creative stuff. So I'm focusing on which books of mine I want to make progress in, that kind of thing. So as far as goals go, I really want to focus on bloodless ties 
which is the third book in my marionette series that I'm currently editing. And it's split into three parts and I'm focusing on it part by part. So we want to get part one as close to being like done, almost ready to be published as possible by the end of this month. Um, and then I also want to get back into a different project, which is called Broken Perfect Lies. Um, I think my patrons have already seen a cover reveal for it. Haven't quite done it yet over here. It's a standalone that I'm working on. I've gotten some feedback on it from a beta reader and stuff, and we're currently editing and revising that. Haven't touched it in a while though, so I want to really get back into that this month. So I guess an easy place to start off with, I have two people who are helping me with Bloodless Ties right now. I have one of my beta readers, and my critique partner is going to start it later this month. So we're going to add some specific dates for that. My beta reader, she and I have done, I don't even know how many books at this point. If you're watching this, if you know, let me know. <laughs> Uh, she and I have been working together since I was in college. So she is also incredibly busy with her full-time job. So I try to send her new chapters on the weekends. So this Friday, I'm gonna try and send her some more chapters. I'm trying to think of how many she has already because I honestly don't think we have that many more to send her because I'm doing like three or four chapters at a time. So honestly, I think she should get to the end of the book by the end of this month at this rate. And that gives me like all week to touch up and get the chapters that I'm gonna send her at the end of the week ready. So then my critique partner, Jessie, is also trying to wrap up one of her books right now. So I'm not gonna send her any chapters until she's done, which I think we agreed was gonna be on the 23rd. So I'm gonna put her here, although I'm gonna have to double check on that. So that's stuff other people are doing. Now for, you know, me. What am I <laughs> doing for these books? Also, it's a little bit funky because my beta reader is going through the entire book. She's in part two somewhere right now, but when it comes to Jessie, I'm only gonna be sending her part one. So it's like a different focus. I guess we're gonna use the black side of my pen for notes about Broken Perfect Lies. Although I'm getting feedback about Bloodless Ties after part one, I am not making any changes to the later parts in the book this month. I am only personally focusing on part one. So once I get part one where I want it, that's when I'm gonna switch over and start working on Broken Perfect Lies. So the baseline goal, like if nothing else, this is what I would like to get done, is have part one done and exactly how I want it before I send it to Jesse the second to last week of the month. And part one is only about 100 pages right now. So realistically, I don't want black for this ties, we want blue. Um, I'd have, I don't know, you know, the first 33 pages done. 66 pages done. 100 pages done. I want more like a check mark indicate done. <laughs> Then I send it to Jesse, and it's out of my hands and I don't have to think about it anymore. So although I'm going to be focusing on part one for these three weeks until it goes to Jesse, I do think I'm going to be simultaneously working on both this, or Broken Perfect Lives at some point in these three weeks. A lot of my titles are similar. I'm realizing that now I've got Bloodless Ties, Broken Perfect Lies, Breakable Things, Too Many Bs. So then when it comes to Broken Perfect Lies, the tricky thing is about editing this book is I have a full draft of it for one of the point of views. I, after the fact, decided I wanted to add in a different point of view. So in a way, I'm still writing the rough draft because I'm still writing this entire new point of view, but then I'm also in revision mode, revising the first point of view. <laughs> so I think at the very least, I wanna be working on like two chapters of it per week, whether that be a revision chapter or I'm writing an entirely new chapter for the other point of view, if that makes sense. That definitely will not get us through the entire book, but I feel like in addition to my workload with editing clients and also trying to work on bloodless ties, that's manageable. I'm actually gonna update this down here and write it in black so I remember my little color coding system. <laughs> if I can spell. For now, I think this is a good plan. I really want to try and be more focused and stop trying to 
be more productive under the guise of like multitasking and working on a million projects at once because I actually think that makes me less productive overall. So we're gonna be focusing on these two books this month and I would feel so satisfied. I would just like feel a relief if I had part one of Bloodless Ties nailed down by the end of this month and I felt like I made some serious progress in Broken Perfect Lies. That would be eight chapters worth, which I mean, would probably be roughly about the same amount as I'm doing with Bloodless Ties, probably the first like third of the book. So it's doable. I believe in us. I'd love to hear about your planning system. If you do anything like this down below in the comments, especially if you're also an author and you're constantly juggling multiple projects and trying to figure out how to fit everything into your own schedule. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. All my links are down below in the description. This video is going to be short and sweet, so I think that's going to be it for today. I'll see you guys in the next one very, very soon. Bye. No.